Hello, so in this tutorial you're going to learn how to liquefy text. So it's going to be a fun one. File new, changes to inches, 11 by 8.5, 200, get your text tool out, type your name. If you don't want to do your name, if you want to do your friend's name, that's fine. Find a font that you like. I happen to like this font. You want a thick font for this one because we're going to be putting an image on the other side. Alrighty, so we have our text layer here and we have a background. I need to connect the two. I need to connect the text layer and the background layer in order to do this effect. So I'm going to unlock this background layer and then I'm going to go to layer, flatten image. And what that does is it squishes everything together, everything together, puts on a background layer, and then locks it. We want to unlock it because we want to keep editing it. So we can no longer change our font. We can make it bigger if you want to by clicking um, the move tool up here and then doing edit free transform. But you see what it does? So make sure you made, made all your final changes to your text before doing so. So take the time now, if you wanna go back, hit Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. And then you have our text layer here. Change this to what you want. And when you're happy, do layer flatten image. Alrighty, so I unlocked my background layer. I am ready to add the filter liquify. So I'm going to go up here to filter, liquify, and what it's going to let us do here is we can pull these, pull and let release, pull and release. And we can kind of play around with this. I would make sure that I am saving as a PSD file while I'm doing all these edits because your Chromebook may not enjoy making all these edits as much as you may enjoy it. I'm just pulling these out. Making it look fun. Alrighty. Feel free to play around with these settings, see what they do. Have fun with that. I like doing that a lot. Okay, so I clicked OK, and now I have this liquefied text. So that is how you liquefy. We're going to have a little bit more fun with this. I'm going to do select color range. And when I click on a color here, it will select and find all of the color in that image. So I just clicked on my black in my text, and you'll see over here it selected everything that is black in my image. So I'm going to click on OK. And now you see we have these traveling ants around every single black part of our image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit erase. And now what it's showing you is you cut out all of the black. Now you just have the white outline. This is kind of similar to what we did in the last activity. What was it called? Um, the magnetic lasso where you put it into a TV or a phone or anything like that and you selected something and you deleted it So you selected the black and you deleted it. Let's put an image behind this I just typed in flame and I found a blue one and remember to save it to your To save it to your Chromebook you click on with the image with two fingers save image as and then it will save it to your downloads and then you're gonna go over here file open in place. Remember the difference between open and open in place is open opens it in a whole new file. You don't want to do that. You want to do file open in place. So it will open your file and place it on your canvas. And then you're going to navigate gate to your downloads and click on your flame. I just did blue. You can do whatever you want. And I'm going to click and drag my blue to be underneath. So I'm going to do select deselect now. The reason I'm doing that is you see we still have these traveling ants around our letters, I don't need to have that selected anymore. So I'm going to do select, deselect, click on my blue flame. I'm going to do edit free transform with my blue lane act, blue flame layer active. And then I'm going to click and drag this out. So this is also similar to another activity we did 
where we did, um, I think it was, this, it was the type activity. It was like the first one we ever did where we had type here and we had an image behind that type. So it's just another way to do it. There's multiple ways to do a lot of things in, in um, Photoshop, Photopea, and Illustrator. So it's really just based off of your style and what you want. Oops. I'm trying to move my blue layer here. No, I don't want to move that one. There we go. You can also use the arrows on your keyboard to get this where you want it. And I think I like it like that. Alright, so we're going to go to our background layer, EFF, and we're going to do the play around with outer glow. And you can change your spread here. Feel free to have fun with that. I like to change this color to blue here. I like the blue with the blue. You can do, that was outer glow, you can do an inner glow. I think that looks nice and pretty and I changed that to blue too. And make sure your blend modes here, you can change your blend mode and play around with that. I just have it normal for inner glow, normal for outer glow. I wonder what drop shadow would look like in here. Drop shadow, I just clicked one time on it. Ooh, it looks pretty cool. I might turn my opacity down a little bit so we can so it's not as harsh. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And that's all I have. So whenever you take the screenshot, make sure where it says EFF, you click this drop down arrow so I can see that you did an outer glow, inner glow, drop shadow. Um, you don't necessarily need to have the drop shadow, but I would like to see inner and outer if you can. Alrighty, I'm going to take a screenshot. So for you guys, remember that screenshot is... control the change window button for the Chromebook. So make sure you're doing that. I know some people aren't taking a screenshot of the full thing, but I need the full thing because I need to see the layer styles and everything like that. And to export as a PNG, you do file, export as PNG, submit both of those things to me, and let me know if you have any questions.